Hi, welcome. My name is Scott Mackey. I'm the Strategic Development Manager for Xerox here in the Emirates. I'd like to introduce you to today the Xerox 1000i Color Press. It was recently launched by us with the Silver Metallic Ink, which is the first in the world for the digital market. The press itself is positioned perfectly within our graphic art sector and also for our larger enterprise customers for high volume transactional print and also to take care of those specific graphic arts applications that are running perhaps spot UV varnish are running litho offset gold and silver inks. So here we have the Xerox 1000i digital color press. We are today running for this gold ink that we have in the machine. We'll run a five color job, which will be CMYK and the metallic gold, um, Pantone gold. So here on the screen, we have our, our printed, our held and our archive. We have our processing screen and our printing screen also. And here we can see that we have the trays loaded, how much paper we have in each tray and the brand weight the specification of each paper. We can also have a, a window here that tells us our consumable level, our ink level for cyan, magenta, yellow and black, and of course, the special color, whether that special color is gold ink, silver ink, or the clear. Um, what we're gonna do next is we will open up a specific job we're going to look at today. This is a gold ink poster in SRE3. First of all, we'll go to the media to select our media. Selecting from the trays, these top uh, four items here are the four that we have loaded into the machine. The other materials are the previous uh, paper stocks that we've loaded in. Right now, I'm gonna select the SRE3 120 silk coated. When I do that, it then brings in all of the media weight, the color, whether it's been pre-printed, all of the properties that we have associated with the paper in the machine. It also tells me, of course, which tray I'm pulling from and lets me verify this uh, in the job properties. I'll then go to the layout. Because we have, it's a poster, an SRE3 poster, quite simple today. I, I can here start to affect it and tell the machine whether I want to gang up. So I select that for gang up. I can then do cut and stack. I can gang up here. It gives me a visual on that. If I change that to step and repeat, you see that the numbers change one and one, two and two, three and three. And that would then enable me to start to impose a basic imposition tool to start to impose the image up onto SRE3. We have another option here for booklet making. It will allow me to do a simple booklet making procedure and start to impose the pages into a 12, 16, 24, no matter what uh, pagination that we have, this basic imposition will start to collate them for me. I can set things for uh, cover stocks, text stocks, and also material exceptions as well, all within this. We have a more advanced option here. It won't let me select it just now because of the poster file, but it will then allow me to do a full imposition, make full exceptions as well, and brings up a, a WYSIWYG, a what you see is what you get tool that will let me start to impose the job. So back to, I'll select normal, and that will let us print the poster. I'll go to my color options here, which is the next tab in the job properties and just go to basic settings. That brings me up the basic profiles that I'm, I'm wanting to use. A quick check, a, a bit of personal preference here is ISO coated. And then all my other profiles I'm going to pull in. I have the 140 gram silk profile that we've recently calibrated. I've got spot color matching on as well. We're just okay that we have speciality color mode and that's my gold and dry ink mode that's all on also check the image quality check my finishing just want to make sure i've got here face down 
I don't want that. I want it to appear face up in the delivery tray. I've just changed that so that I can check the image as it prints. That's all fine. Just change the volume that we want to print. That's all selected. And now I will press print. You see here in the processing tab, that's a processed file. It's only about a seven megabyte file. And now it's waiting to print.